Vacation, so we can't be going to school. Where, Where are we, we going? going? As a surprise treat for being so good during the school break, we're taking you all to the Happy Tim Fair. <laughs> I love fairs. So let's go. We're doing the welcome walkies. We're doing the welcome walkies. Where are we gonna go? Fun at the fair, Nico. Uh, 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 oh, oops. Sorry, Potato. <laughs> All three of us. Nico, me, and our secret snuggly friend. Huggy Panda Potato Fun at the fair! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Hey, everyone. Hi, Paco. Mama, can I go on the big rides with Paco? Sure. Off you go, Spuddy Pug. See you later. Have fun, Chipoletta. Bye, Spud. Today, little ones, you're free to play here in the kindergarten fairground without us grown-ups. Wow. As long as you stick together. Uh-huh. But if you do lose each other, you meet here at the sunshine seat. Pato, 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 pato. That's Terry Owl. He's up high, so you can see him from all around the fair. I've got my kind eye on you. <laughs> We're giving you five tickets each. Whoa, five tickets? Thank you. And you can choose which five activities to spend your tickets on. Oh. All right, get out there and have some fun. Let's go on a ride! <laughs> We're going to have the best time at the fair. Us three together. <laughs> Step right up for the bumper cars! <laughs> yes! Let's go on the bumper cars! Hidey in my pocket, Secret Mouse Pal. Chip! Oh. <laughs> yes, Nico! Come on the log ride with us! We can use another ticket for the bumper cars later. Okay. We're coming, Giggle! <laughs> that was Huggy Panda, Panda Potato Tastic! Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's use one of our tickets for that. <laughs> One ticket left. Me too. We should use them for the most fun ride. Step right up for the bumper cars. Yes! Bumper cars! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> mm. Whoops, sorry. Howie, where are you going in such a rush? To the roller coaster. It's the most fun ride of all. But you two are probably too scared to go on it. <laughs> Everybody knows that Chip still needs her snuggly. <laughs> I'm not scared of a roller coaster. <laughs> you know, Nico, it does look like a lot of fun. Okay, let's go on the roller coaster together. <laughs> Please stand here. I need to check you're tall enough for the ride. The roller coaster is really fast and twisty turny, Chip. I know! It's going to be so much fun to go on it together. <laughs> you next, Panda. Please stand here. Ooh, you're just tall enough. 
On your go. Uh, next. Whoa. Oh, sorry. You're not tall enough to go on the roller coaster, Pug. Huh? The rules say you have to be this tall to be safe on the ride. Uh, uh. Oh, sorry, little one. Maybe you'll be tall enough next year. Next. Uh. Oh. Aren't you coming on the roller coaster, Chip? No, Nico, I'm not tall enough. You'll have to ride without me. But the roller coaster is so fast and twisty turny. I'm wobbly paw scared to go on it without you and Potato. <gasps> I've got an idea. Potato, you go on the roller coaster with Nico. I'll be okay on my own. <laughs> Nico, Potato is going to ride with you to stop your wobbly paws. Ready? Uh-huh. Catch, Nico. <laughs> Thank you, Chip. Roller coaster ready. Hold on tight, Potato. <laughs> this bear isn't as much fun without friends. <gasps> hmm. Hello. I'm Chip Pug. Are you okay? We're lost. We're looking for our uncle. Don't worry. I know what to do. We need to find the sunshine seat. But first, we need to look up high for Terry Owl. The sunshine seat is this way. Here we are, the sunshine seat. Thanks, Terry. I've got my kind eye on you. <laughs> if we wait here, your uncle will come to meet us. Thanks, Thanks Chip. Chip. Deb! Dave! Oh. Uncle! There you are. Mr. Diggerty? Happy Hopper Chip! Wow! Your uncle is my teacher. <laughs> Chip helped us when we were lost. Chip, thank you, and well diggledy done. That's okay, Mr. Diggerty. Are you here on your own? No, I'm with Nico. Well, I was, but I wasn't tall enough to go on the roller coaster with him. Well, Chip, you may be too little for the roller coaster, but you are very grown up. You brought Deb and Dave to the sunshine seat and saved the diggledy day. Thanks, Mr. Diggerty. Um, Mr. Diggerty, why are you wearing an eye patch? Oh, yes. I am going to the hospital tomorrow to have an eye operation. Oh. Oh, it's nothing to worry about, Chip, but I won't be at school next week. So, you'll have a substitute teacher. Huh? A different teacher while I'm away. Oh. <gasps> Nico! Oh, wonderful! Nico Panda has come to meet you! Uncle, can we go on the bumper cars? Well, you, uh, you can, but we'd better hurry. They're about to start. Diggledy bye, Chip. Bye, Mr. Diggerty. Bye, Deb and Dave. I knew we'd find you here, Chip. Oh, Nico, Potato, I missed you. <laughs> Any more for the bumper cars? <gasps> Let's go on the bumper cars. Yes! But no. I used my last ticket on the roller coaster. I can't go on any more rides. Hello, Nico. Hello again, Chip. Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to give you my last ticket for being such a helpful pug. Last call for the bumper cars. <sighs> Thank you. Gotta go. Thank you. How are you helpful, Chip? I'll tell you both later, but now we can all go on the bumper cars. Uh-huh. Together. <laughs> 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 I feel sick, Grammy. Oh, Howie. No more twisty, turny roller coaster rides. It's home time for you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is the most fun ride at the fair. Uh -huh. Huggy Panda Potato Tastic! Yoo-hoo, Chip and Nico! to go home after this ride. Uh -huh. <laughs> Back to school tomorrow, remember? A new semester! Oh, yes, Nico. And we're going to have a different teacher instead of Mr. Diggerty. Really? 
Wow. I wonder who it'll be. Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It's home time, Happy Hoppers. Well done for today. You can collect your things from the cloak. Excuse me, Stomp. Excuse me, Giglish. I need to get my backpack. Why are you rushing, Kill? Don't you remember, Nico? The Razzles are having their teddy bears picnic today. I don't want to be late. Oh, yeah. For all the little ones on Welcome Walk. And their teddies. And us. You can be our teddy at the picnic, Potato. <laughs> Oh, my backpack stuck. Here, let me help. Now untwist the strap chip. Oh, thanks, Nico. Four paws are better than two. <clears throat> okay, Potato. Six paws. <laughs> <gasps> oh, Mrs. Will's coming. Better hoodie up, my secret potato pal. <laughs> Oh, and happy hoppers. Don't forget to bring in your creative craft homework tomorrow. Um, what do we have to do again, Mrs. Whale? You need to make a musical instrument, Howie, from something that's not being used anymore. For example, you could make a drum from an old yogurt container and an ice pop stick. Oopsie, <laughs> 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 sorry. I'm making a pan flute out of old bamboo, Mrs. Whale. Perfect, Nico. I haven't started making my musical instrument yet. I'm sure you'll think of something splendid, Chip. And tomorrow, Happy Hoppers, we'll make wonderful music with the instruments you've made. <laughs> Until next time, Happy Hoppers. <laughs> I guess we'll have to finish our homework before we go to the teddy bear's picnic, Chip. Yes, Nico. We could play the musical instruments we make to entertain the little ones at the picnic. Great idea. Where are we going to go? All the way home. Well, hello, Panda and Pugs. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hey, Mama. Welcome to our teddy bear's picnic. Are you ready to party? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Mr. Razzle. You can call me Ray. Yes, yes Mr. Mr. Ray. Ray. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Mama, please, can I go to Paco's house? I need to borrow a sleeping bag for school sleepaway camp. Sleepaway camp? What's that? Sounds pretty exciting. It is. <laughs> I'm going on a school camping trip for a whole week. Our little spotty pug is growing up so fast. Mom. <laughs> we'll see you when you get back from Paco's. Thanks. Have fun, everyone. Bye. Bye. Sit down and join us, Chip and Nico. We will, Mr. Ray. But Chip and I have homework to do first. We have to make a musical instrument out of something we don't need anymore. Then we'll play our instruments for the little ones at the picnic. What a puggy good idea. <laughs> oh, hey, where are you off to, Totsy Tot? Oh, you're such a wriggler. <laughs> and Bodie's such a giggler. <laughs> we should call the little ones the Wriggly Gigglers. <laughs> the Wriggly Gigglers. It's a puggy perfect name. Now off you go to make your musical instruments. Oh, can you manage without me while I look after Tot? Yes, Mama. I can make my musical instrument all by myself. Well, help yourself to anything from the recycling box. Thanks, Mama. Meet you back here when we're finished, Nico. Okay. Happy bye, Chip. Let's go, Potato Pal. Oh, do you want to stay and play with the Wriggly Gigglers at the picnic? Okay. But don't let the grown-ups see you, my secret mouse friend. <laughs> Time to make my musical instrument to play for the Wiggly Gigglers. The recycling box. This pumpkin chip tube will make a good musical sound if... I put these beads inside and shake it. Aww. My little puggy paw is too small to cover the end of the tube. I need something bigger to stop the beads falling out. I'll use this piece of paper. Hmm. I need something to fix the paper to the tube. Ha! A hair allowance! 
plastic. Hmm. Uh, <gasps> I don't have enough puggy paws to hold the paper and the hair elastic at the same time. <laughs> Mm, potato would know what to do. Oh, let me help you there, partner. Thank you, Roy. Ah, help. Thank you, Razzles. You've just given me an idea. Look, Mama. I'm making a shaker for my creative craft homework, but I need Nico's help to finish it. Can I go to his house, please? If it's okay with Amanda, it's fine with me, Chip Dip. Sounds like an excellent plan. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Are you getting tired, Potato? Uh, uh. Don't worry. I'll be back soon to help entertain the Wriggly Gigglers with my shaker. Uh, uh. Happy hi, Nico! Uh, uh. <laughs> Happy hi, Chip! I'm trying to make a shaker with this tube, but I need more paws. I need help making my pan flute! Listen, the different lengths of bamboo make different musical notes. Mm-hmm. Wow, your pan flute sounds great, Nico. Thanks, Chip. I just can't keep all the bamboo pieces together. They keep rolling away. I tried to glue them together, but they wouldn't stick. Tying them will be tricky with just two paws. I can help, Nico. You hold the pipes, and I'll tie them together with this yarn. There. That's great. Thanks, Chip. Now I'll help you finish making your shaker. You hold the paper over the end of the tube, and I'll fix it on with your hair elastic. Thanks, Nico. You're the best. <laughs> now we can play our musical instruments and entertain the Wriggly Gigglers. <laughs> oh dear, Chip. The Wriggly Gigglers aren't giggling anymore. And where's Potato? I can't see her, Nico. Hi, Puggy Panda Pals. Have you finished your homework? Yes, Mama. <laughs> oh, your instruments sound great. Well done, you two. We helped each other to finish them. And now we want to play for the Wrigley Gigglers. But, Mama, I can't find my potato. Have you seen her? Sorry, Chippy Dip, I haven't. <laughs> Look at that cup, Nico. That doesn't look like Rudy Fruity Pop to me. Oh, my sleepy, snoozy potato. All that peekaboo has tired you out. Um, do you think you can entertain the Wriggly Gigglers with your musical instruments now? It might stop there. Crying. The Teddy Bears Picnic Players are ready to perform. <laughs> you play first, Chip. didn't like my shaker sound. You try, Nico. I know. We work together to finish our musical instruments. We should play them together. I think the regular gigglers like our music, Nico. like her music, Chip. Oh, Chip and Nico, your playing was wonderful. Mrs. Whale will love it. <laughs> the regular gigglers are just tired after all the picnic fun. That's a big idea for a little mouse potato. Huh? Potato thinks the wriggly gigglers don't want to hear loud music, Nico. We need to play gentle, sleepy music instead. We could try, I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Potato. Well done, you two. Yes, you did a dazzlingly... Shh! Good job. I thought our music would make the regularly gigglers giggle, but we sent them to sleep instead. And potato, too. <sighs> Mama, Paco's left me a sleeping bag. I'm all set for school sleepaway camp. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>
Hey, Chip! I drew this for you with my new pens! You, me, and Potato! Aww. Hoodie up now we're in class, Potato. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nico. I love it. Puggy Panda Potato best friends forever! Ooh. It's here at last, Happy Hoppers! Fun day! <laughs> Everyone, gather on the carpet, please! <laughs> you don't want to miss out on fun day fun? Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, Potato, you can stay secret in my pocket today. Now we're all here. Let the fun begin! The bottles are not for eating, Howie. Whoops. Now, into pairs, please, everyone. More fun this way. <laughs> ah, good morning, Mr. Diggerty. Nice hat. Thank you, Miss Nash. The gym's all set for fun. <gasps> wow! <gasps> Trampolines! My favorite! <laughs> We're going to have so much fun, Nico. Now, Happy Hoppers, before you bounce, there are three rules that you need to follow. Rule number one, shoes off. Shoes off. Okay. Rule number two, bounce in the middle of your own trampoline, not at the edge. And finally, rule number three, no bouncing unless a grown-up is watching. Thank you, Ms. Nash. Whoa! A shoes off, bounce in the middle, no grown-up, no bouncing. Shoes off, bounce, bounce in the middle, middle. No, no grown up, no, no bouncing. bouncing. Ready to bounce, happy hoppers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nico. <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, bouncy pug. Careful, Chip. You're too close to the egg. Whoa. Whoops. Sorry, Nico. You're not supposed to... Now, Chip, remember what Ms. Nash said. You must bounce in the middle of your own trampoline. It's lucky you landed on Nico's. You might have landed on the edge and hurt yourself. Sorry, Mr. Diggerty. Okay. Carry on, Diggledy Bouncing. <laughs> and my favorite move, a seat drop. <gasps> wow, I want to do that, Potato. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Whoa! <gasps> Oh, Potato, did I squash you? Oh. Puggy, sorry. I'll get the move right next time. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Whoa. Whoa. Trampoline time is over, Happy Hoppers. Now, a special fun day snack time. Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't get to do Gigglish's seat drop. Aww. Your teachers and I have made you your very own fun snacks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, taste my homemade holy moly ravioli. Yummy. Thank you. Try my Mrs. Woolly's wibbly wobbly pudding, my great grand llama ma's recipe made with all natural ingredients. Thank you, Principal Woolly. Sample my Mrs. Whale's super seaweed sushi rolls. <laughs> 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 Whoopsie, sorry. <laughs> fun day is such a fun day, Chip. Uh-huh. I just wish I could have done a seat drop on the trampoline, Nico. Then it would be even more fun. I'll teach you to do a seat drop, Chip, on my trampoline at home. <gasps> really? Thanks, Gigglish. Did you hear that, Potato? I will get to do a seat drop after all. <laughs> Before our next fun activity, Happy Hoppers, there's just one thing to diggledy do. Clean up! Barry and Gigglish, collect the cups, please. And Peter and Howie, clean the plates. Oh, I'm on it! <laughs> Chip and Nico, can you sweep up the crumbs, please? You'll need to get the dustpan and broom from the storage cupboard. Okay, Mr. Diggerty. Come on, Chip. <gasps> Look, Potato, the trampolines are still here. Uh, Chip, we have to get the dustpan and broom. But, Nico, if I could have just one more try at doing Gigglish's seat drop on the trampoline, 
I know I could do it. Chip, Gillish said she'd teach you on her trampoline after school. But I really want to do it now, on fun day. And I'll be so quick. No, Chip, you know the rule. No grown-up watching, no bouncing. You can pretend to be a grown-up and watch me, Nico. Uh -uh. It'll be okay, Potato, I promise. Uh, mm. Bottom push, Nico. Puggy pleasey. Hmm. No. Puggy panda pleasey. <sighs> Thanks, Nico. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy pug. Whoa! Ugh. That's it, Chip. You tried the move. You couldn't do it. Now we need to go. No, I can do it. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy pug. Whoa. Ow! My puggy tail. Chip! Are you okay? My tail. It hurts. Nico? Chip? What are you doing on the trampolines? Oh, I... Um... Ow! Chip, what's wrong? Ow. My puggy tail. Can you wiggle it, Chip? Ow. Oh, good. I think it's fine. But you two should have been fetching the dustpan and broom. Not bouncing on this trampoline. What was our trampolining rule number three? No grown-up watching. watching. No, no bouncing. bouncing. So you knew the rule, but you didn't follow it. And look what's happened. Now come with me. What did you do? I know, Potato. I have to tell Mr. Diggerty it wasn't Nico's fault. Mr. Diggerty, Nico didn't bounce on the trampoline. He only climbed up to help me when I hurt my tail. But I asked you both to get the dustpan and broom from the storage cupboard, and you came here to the gym instead. Therefore, you will help Ms. Nash finish cleaning up the cafeteria, while the rest of the Happy Hoppers enjoy the next fun activity of the day. <gasps> oh, Potato. Nico looks so sad. Oh, Nico, I'll help. My super fun day obstacle course! Enjoy, Happy Hoppers! Oh, wow. Watching the others have fun isn't much fun, Potato. This is all your fault, Chip. You wanted to do Gigglish's seat drop, and you got us both into trouble. I'm sorry, Nico. Nico? Not eating your cake, Chip Dip? Oh, Mama, Nico drew this picture just for me. But now I don't know if he's my best friend anymore. I'm sure he's still your friend, Chip, but he's probably upset. You broke a rule and got him into trouble. <laughs> I know, Mama. It's so unlike you to break a rule, Chip. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. I puggy promise. Maybe tomorrow I could take you over to Nico's so you could say sorry again and make up. Can I go now, Mama? Can I give Nico my cake to say a proper puggy sorry? That's a great idea, Chip. Do you want me to come with you? No, thank you, Mama. I think I want to talk to Nico on my own. Oh, Potato, I hope Nico wants to speak to me. Oh, happy hi, Chip. Um, happy hi, Amanda. Can I see Nico, please? Oh, I'm sorry, Chip Pug. Nico went to bed early. He was tired after all the bouncing and the cleaning. And Nico has a big day tomorrow. His daddy is coming to visit. Oh, I, I brought him sorry cake. I mean, pumpkin cake. That is so kind. Thank you, Chip. I'll make sure he gets it. Good night. Night, Amanda. In the morning, Mama, I'm gonna go to Nico's house again to talk to him and make up. Good idea, Chip. And in the meantime, you get a good night's sleep. Mwah. Do you think Nico and I will ever be best friends again, Potato? <laughs> Thanks for trying to cheer me up, Potato. 
But I don't want to do trampolining again for a while. I just want to make up with Nico. Will you help me do that tomorrow? Uh-huh. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. You're the best snuggly mouse in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, can I answer the door? You can, Chippy Pip. Papa! Thanks for opening the door, Chip. My hands are so full, I couldn't open it myself. What's in the box, Papa? Come and see. <gasps> Hi, little Papa. Stairgate in place, I see. Sure is. To keep our wriggly giggler Totsy Tot safe. <laughs> You've tied a ribbon to the stairgate, Mama. That's right, Chippy Pip. All ready for Tot's birthday tomorrow. A first birthday bow just for you, little sister. Come and peek through this little gate now, Chip. Oh, yes, the box. Can you see, Potato? <gasps> Is that a cat? Yes, it's Kevin, our police station cat. Remember him? What's he wearing around his neck? Kevin's hurt his ear. See this bandage? He needs to wear the cone to stop him pulling his bandage off. The cone stays on until his little ear heals. Poor Kevin. I'll look after you. I hoped you'd say that. Kevin's staying here all weekend and needs some special chiplet care. <laughs> we, I mean, I can be caring. Welcome to our puggy house, Kevin. Go quietly, Chip. Our home is new to him. He's a little shy. Okay, Papa. That's great, Chippy Pug Pup. <laughs> I'll go get your things out from the car, Kevin. Out you come for kind puggy Chip while I'm gone, huh? Potato. Come say a proper hello to Kevin. It's okay, secret friend. Now you come out too, Kevin. <laughs> oh, Potato. Some cats don't get along with mice, but Kevin's friendly. You became pals at the police station, remember? <laughs> Kevin's our get well guest, and I'm going to look after him. Will you help me? Uh huh. Thanks, Potato. Our first time caring for a pet. Police patrol pug coming through. Whoa. Oops. It's okay, Kevin. These are all your things. Ooh, is this your water bowl? Look, Papa. Kevin wants to leave. No, he just wants to explore our puggy garden. No garden this weekend, kitty cat. You might wander off, like cats do, and get lost. Oh, no. We can't lose Kevin. Hmm. Don't worry, Papa. I'll make sure Kevin has fun indoors with me on his get well weekend. Aw, what a kind and caring chippy pug pup you are. Here's your basket, Kevin, with your nice soft blanket. <laughs> Kevin! Come to me for a very gentle puggy huggy. I think what he really wants to do is explore the house, Chip. You like exploring? Me too! That's puggy perfect. Always stroke a cat from head to tail. I think that purr is Kevin saying he likes how you're looking after him, Chip. You could go exploring with him. Yes! Come and explore upstairs, Kevin. Follow me. I'd love to show you my snuggly bed. Come on, Kevin. Please. Great idea, Potato. We can use the toy mouse to lead Kevin upstairs. That's it, Kevin. Exploring this way. Oh, bath time, Totsy Tot. Oh, watch your ear, Kevin. Oh, I'm not sure you can get through with that head comb, little kitty. <gasps> Good job. Uh-oh. Papa, I can't get through the stair gate. Help, Buggy, pleasey. Police pug coming to the rescue. <laughs> Here, Kevin. 
Should I lift you onto my bed, Kevin? Ready? I'll be careful of your ear. Yeah. Kevin, meet Orangey Rabbit and Mr. Crawly Crawler. Boodle Doo and Unlucky Ernie. Oh, no. <laughs> you can snuggle with all of them. Huh? How's kitty care going, Chip Pug? <gasps> Heidi Potato? <laughs> Kevin just does whatever he wants, Papa. <laughs> That's cats for you. <laughs> we, uh... I just need to stay close to him to make sure he's okay. Yes, Chiplet. That's how you take care of a cat like Kevin on his Get Well weekend. Quick, Potato, or Papa will see you. <laughs> <laughs> Down he goes. He's coping very well with his head cone. He is, Papa. Better get back to caring for Kevin. Phew. Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> Play gently with Kevin, okay? Uh-huh. <gasps> the window's open. Kevin's going to go outside. <laughs> Thanks, Potato. That was close. I'm sorry, Kevin, but our house and garden are new to you. If you explore outside, you might get lost. <laughs> it's okay, Kevin. It's just our doorbell. Guess who's back? Spud! Hiding my pocket, Potato Pal. Hey, Pops! Spud! Hey, Chipster. Thank you! Welcome home from sleepaway camp, Super Spud. I missed you so much! Oh, is that my Spuddy Pug? Hi, Mama. Puggy Huggy with me and Baby Todd? Hmm. Look how she's grown. <laughs> wow, Todd's standing up. And we have a weekend visitor. Oh, Kevin? Kevin! <gasps> we should have made sure the door was closed, Potato. Uh-huh. Hey now, Chippy Pup. I'm sure Kevin won't have gone far. Uh, there's a cat by the apple tree. Is that him? Yes! yes! I'll get him! Hey, Kevin! Come to Spud! Let me get Kevin. He'll come to me. He doesn't know you. I'm sorry, Chipolata. Oh, poor Kevin's climbed so far up. He's stuck. Don't worry, Chippy Sis. I can get him down. We learned all about tree climbing in Sleepaway Camp. Nice and steady now, Super Spud. It's okay, Kevin. My brother Spud's coming to get you down. Please be gentle when you pick Kevin up, Spud. I've got you, Kevin. Careful now. Can you give me a puggy back, Papa? Sure. Officer Papa, at your service. <laughs> Hold tight, Chip. <laughs> Thanks for the lift, Papa. You can hand Kevin to me now, Spud. Thanks. Hello, Kevin. I'm so pleased you're safely back down here with me. Would you like to come upstairs and sleep on my snuggly bed with all my toys? And my potato mouse? <laughs> you want to sleep in your basket? Okay, Kevin. If this is where you feel cozy and snuggly, that's fine with me. Well, after all that puggy excitement, it's time for Betty Buys. Aw, but I'm not tired. <sighs> <laughs> you too, Chiplet. Night, night, Kevin. <gasps> Mama! Papa! My teeth are puggy clean and... Shh, shh, Chiplet. Spud was so tired that he fell asleep in his clothes. <laughs> night, Spud. I'm glad you're home. Bedtime for you too now, Chippy Pug Pup. Kevin's come to sleep on my super snuggly bed after all. He's made his way up here all on his own because you have taken such pugtastic care of him, Chip. Curly up, safe and snug, Kevin and Chip tonight. 
Curly up, safe and snug, give him and ship tonight. And sleepy puggy, sleepy snooze, sleepy puggy snore. Sleepy Kevin, sleepy snooze, sleepy puggy snore. Sorry, tight potato. We have a big day tomorrow. It's Todd's first birthday. <sighs> My pasta fish picture is going to be the most puggy perfect present for Tot's first birthday, Nico. She'll love it, Chip. Oh, you need to finish sticking now, Chip. The glue needs time to dry or the pasta will fall off when you move your picture. Yes, Mr. Diggerty. Tell me about your picture, Howie. It's a pasta explosion, Mr. Diggerty. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen one of those before. Finished. Chip, the glue won't be dry yet. My fish picture. It's ruined. Maybe you have time to make another one? Happy Hoppers, clear up, please. It's home time. <laughs> oh. I was making a special pasta picture for Tot's birthday potato, but I didn't wait for the glue to dry and the pasta fell off. <laughs> Quick, hoodie up, my secret pal. Are you talking to your snuggly again, Chip Pug? <laughs> oh, Nico, now I don't have my picture. What am I going to give Tot for her birthday this weekend? Hmm. When my brother Bodie had his first birthday, I made him a special bamboo cake with bamboo frosting. That's it! I'll bake Todd a Pugalicious cake for her birthday. Thanks, Nico. Let's go, Potato! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there, little chip pug. Slow down. I'll get the things you'll need while you watch your puggy paws. Okay, Papa. Paw wash for you, too, Potato. <laughs> wish, wash, wish, wash. <laughs> chip, do you know what kind of cake you want to make for Tot? It's going to be really big with orange frosting, because orange is Tot's favorite color. Pugtastic! And what flavor is it gonna be? Pineapple! What? How? <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, Papa. The cake will be pumpkin flavor, of course. Our puggy favorite. And I'm gonna make it all by myself. <laughs> That's my chippy pug pup. <laughs> this video will show you how to make the cake. When you're ready to put the cake in the oven, Holler. <laughs> You'll need a grown-up pug to do that. Thanks, Papa. Hello, my dears. Granny Fant. <laughs> Welcome to Granny Fant's Fantastic Baking Channel. <laughs> Are you ready to follow my delicious pumpkin cake recipe? <laughs> First, a Fant fact. Fast is fine, but baking takes time. So if you need to pause to catch up, just press here. Right, my dears, let's get started. Woohoo! <laughs> Put two cups of butter and two cups of sugar into a large bowl and mix together. <gasps> butter, sugar. Now add two eggs. <laughs> Quick, Potato, we should be adding eggs. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Clever potato. <laughs> now, you should have a fantastic gloopy mixture like this. Our mixture isn't gloopy potato. Now, add a pinch of baking powder and the flour. No, stop! We're not ready! Oh, phew. Phew. Thanks for pressing pause, potato. Can you rewind the video so we can watch it again? I'll keep mixing. Uh -huh. <laughs> the 
You think this mixture looks gloopy, Potato? Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! Ready! Press play, please, my secret pal. Now add a pinch of baking powder and the flour. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's next? Time to add the pumpkin and then one last big mix. <sighs> Making a cake is taking ages. <laughs> You're right, Potato. We can do this. <laughs> How's your cake coming along, Chaplet? Quick, hurry up. <gasps> I'll mix, Papa. Top job. Let's get that mixture into the pan and into the oven. Stand aside. Grown-up pug coming through. <laughs> My first ever cake for Tot's first ever birthday. Is it baked yet, Papa? <laughs> nope. The timer will go ping when the cake is ready to come out of the oven. I have to wait? Uh-huh. Well, there is something you could do in the meantime. What's that, Papa? Clean up the kitchen? Oops. I guess I was kind of rushing a bit. Oh, I better go check on Todd. I'll leave you to it, Chiplet. Cleaning is going to take forever, Potato. <laughs> Hello, my dears. Ready to clean up? Great idea, Potato. Cleaning up will be fun with music. <laughs> the cake's ready to come out of the oven. Papa! Fantastic cleaning, Chip. And... Oh, your cake smells pugalicious. Stand back, Chiplet. This is hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Magnificent. I did it. I made a cake for Tot all by myself. Now I can frost it. <laughs> Not quite yet, Chip. It has to cool down first. Huh? And... Oh, oh, no. We haven't got any orange frosting. How about you go to Flingo's store to buy some while the cake cools? Yay! <laughs> Have you been baking, little Chip? How did you know, Mrs. Flingo? Well, you have a little flour on your nosy. <laughs> I'm baking my first cake for Tot's first birthday. I need to buy some orange frosting, please, so I can decorate the cake in Tot's favorite color. Come on in. Let's see what we can find. I think the frosting is out back. Look, Potato. Birthday candles. One of these would look puggy perfect on top of Tot's cake. Let's get a candle as well as the frosting. Uh-huh. A one for one-year-old Totsy Tot. Uh-huh. <laughs> I found the <gasps> frosting, Chip. It was in one of the boxes we're packing up. Packing up, Mrs. Flingo? Yes, Mr. Flingo and I are about to retire. We're selling the shop so we can spend more time doing our hobby, synchronized swimming. What's synchro? Skin crow? Synchronized swimming. It's like ballet in the water. Mr. Flingo and I do the same moves at the same time. Wow. You both look very good at it, Mrs. Flingo. But I'll miss you running the store. Thank you, Chip. Are you ready to pay now? Yes, please. My cake will be frosted in puggy no time, Papa. <laughs> Over to you, Superstar Baker. No! Little Mama's home. Oh, Mama. I baked a cake for Tot's birthday and now it's ruined. Oh, Chip Dip. Let little Mama see. I think maybe if we're careful and take our time, Chiplet, we can fix your pugtastic cake. Really, Mama? Puggy promise. You see, frosting is very sticky. Oh, 
I can use the frosting to stick the cake back together. Uh-huh. Okay, go slowly now. Wow! I fixed it, Mama. I mended my cake. I'm so puggy proud of you, my Chippy Dip. Your little sister's gonna love her cake. <laughs> <laughs> no puggy peeking, Totsy. Chip's got a surprise for you to enjoy tomorrow on your birthday. And your big brother will think it's pugalicious. Spud! He's back from sleepaway camp tomorrow. I can't wait. Thanks, Mama and Papa, for helping me with my cake. <laughs> oh, our puggy pleasure. Is our superstar baker ready for her photo for Granny Fan's baking channel? <laughs> Say pumpkin cake! <laughs> oh, wait, Papa! Don't rush. <laughs> the candle. Now I'm ready. Pumpkin cake. <laughs> okay then, who's ready for a week at school sleepaway camp? Yeah! Yeah! Time to get on the bus, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Todd. You ticklish baby sis. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Spuddy. Going to your first school sleepaway camp? Oh, puggy huggy. Oh, oh, have the most pugtastic time, Spudster. I'll try, Papa. Hey, Chipolata. Mr. Buffalo had a couple of spare camp t-shirts, so I asked if you could have one. Look, the pocket is a tent. I love, love, love it. Thank you, Spud. See you in a week, everyone. Puggy, love you. Love you too, Spuddy Spud. Bye, Spud. Hey, Chip. Hi, Howie. My sister Hortense gave me a spare T-shirt, too. I'm keeping snacks in the pocket. My potato snuggly is going in mine. <laughs> you and that snuggly. <laughs> the pocket's puggy perfect, isn't it, my secret mouse friend? Uh -huh. Bye, Bye. 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 you. Okay, Chip Dip, time for school. Ooh. Shall I take your T-shirt home, Chip? You don't want a fine t-shirt like that getting messy or torn in class. Mm. Can I keep it on? I'll be careful. Puggy, pleasey. <laughs> well... Okay. Thank you! Bye! Bye, Bye now! Happy hi, Miko! Happy hi, Chip! I love your new t-shirt. Thanks! Spud gave it to me before he went to sleepaway camp. <laughs> <laughs> hey, t-shirt twin! <gasps> wanna sit together today? Um... Okay. But, Chip, we usually sit together. Sorry, Nico. <sighs> My lovely happy hoppers, that was the last time I'll take class attendance with you because... Oh, I think we all know that sound. Your usual teacher returns today. Yay! Mr. Diggy! I'm Diggledy back from my eye operation. Now, give Mrs. Whale a happy hopper thank you for teaching you while I was away. Thank you, Mrs. Whale! Until next time, Happy Hoppers. And thank you. <laughs> now, class. Tell me what you've been doing while I've been away. Giggleish. How are you? Tell me what is new. I can stand on one leg and count to ten now, Mr. Diggory. Oh, one, very good. Two, very Bear. How are you? Tell me what is new. I've been... Uh, uh... I'll come back to you, Barry. Peter Wolf, how are you? Now tell me what is new. I got a scrape on my knee. It's got a bandage, see? Oh, dear. I'm still trying to remember, Mr. Diggerty. Jip, how are you? Now tell me what is new. I got this T-shirt from my brother Spud, and it's just like mine. Spud's at sleepaway camp for one whole week. I want to keep my T-shirt on till he gets back. Ooh. Very stylish, Chip. I remembered what's new, Mr. Diggerty. Yes, Barry? We moved to a new house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Happy Hoppers. For this numbers activity, please paint one dot in the first box, in the second box, two dots, and in the third box, three dots, Mr. Diggerty. Exactly right, Gigglish. Now paint those diggledy dots, everyone. T-shirt twin coming through. Oops. Sorry, Chip. Howie, you've splashed paint on my T-shirt. I did say sorry. 
May I suggest taking the t-shirt off, Chip? Before more paint gets on it. But it's my special t-shirt. I really, really want to keep it on, Mr. Diggerty. I'll be extra careful with it from now on. Well, okay, Chip. Let's stick with Nico for the rest of the day and stay out of Howie's way. Uh-huh. Hi, T-shirt twin. Ah. Aww. <laughs> Hi, T-shirt twin. <sighs> and write your number two on your whiteboard, please. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Chip. <sighs> so much for staying out of Howie's way. At least we can walk home together, Chip. Just you and me. You're right, Nico. Hi, Mommy. Oh, hi, hi Bodie. Hi. Hi, Chip Dip. How was school? Oh, your T-shirt is very dirty, Chip. I think you should take it off. Mama, I know it's dirty, but please, can I keep it on? Well, I guess so. Hi, T-shirt twin. Well, hello, Howie. Now, seen as Spud and Hortense are at sleepaway camp, your Grammy and I thought it would be a lovely idea to take you two to the Happyton Pizza Piazza. Arr, 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 I love pizza! Arr, arr. Me too! <gasps> Can Nico come for pizza too, Mama? Of course! The more the buggier. Oh, thank you, little Mama. But Nico has a piano lesson tonight. Maybe another time. Okay. Happy bye, Chip. Happy <laughs> bye, Nico. <laughs> To the Happyton Pizza Piazza, T-shirt twin! <laughs> Thank you, Mama. I've never sat at a Happyton Pizza Piazza table without grown-ups before, Potato. Uh-huh. Cheesy pumpkin pizza. Puggalicious. I'll share it with you. I promise. <laughs> Hi, girls. What can I get you? I'd like a cheesy pumpkin pizza, please, Mr. Octopus. Me too! Uh, please? Two cheesy pumpkin pizzas coming right up. Yeah! <laughs> hey, what's my T-shirt? Howie made it even messier, Potato. But I'm still not taking it off. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, Potato, you can have some pizza. <laughs> Look, Chip! <laughs> Pardon. <laughs> <clears throat> Oops. Pardon me. I'm hungry for more pizza. Oh, me too. Someone ate more pizza than I thought they would. Very good eating, pups. Have you got room for ice cream? <laughs> yes, Puggy, please. <laughs> Choose what you want, and I'll order it when Harriet and I have finished our pizzas. I hope they finish soon. Mmm, <laughs> I smell more pizza! Howie, that's not your pizza! <laughs> Yum! Come on, Chip. You're still hungry. You take some. Mm -mm. Here it comes. Delicious pizza. You know you want it, Chip. Uh -uh. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Here you go, T-shirt twin. Oh, uh, thanks. I mean, um... Go on, Chip. Eat it. Chip, <gasps> what are you doing? Eating pizza? I... I was still hungry, Mama. But you knew you were getting ice cream. You should have waited, Chip. And look at your T-shirt. <laughs> and Howie, don't think I didn't see you take that pizza and pass it to Chip. Now say sorry to Mr. Octopus, please. Sorry, Mr. Octopus. Sorry, Mr. Octopus. Apology accepted, kiddos. No ice cream for you, Chip. No ice cream for you either, Howie. <laughs> My T-shirt is a real mess, Potato. Uh -huh. Take it off, please, Chip. Come to the washing machine. I know I should have let you take my camp T-shirt home before school, Mama. I just wanted to keep it on. Well, sometimes Mama knows best. Now, pop it in the washing machine with the other dirty clothes, please, Chip. 
when it's clean and dry, we can talk about you wearing it again, but not at school. <laughs> and not at the Happyton Pizza Piazza with Howie, hmm? It was so unlike you to take food that didn't belong to you, Chip. I know. I'm sorry, Mama. And I puggy promise never to do it again. <gasps> Look, Mama! Tot nearly stood up! <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a clever little puglet! <laughs> sorry that I listened to Howie instead of you today, Potato. Oh, no. I don't make good choices when I'm with Howie. I make better choices when I'm with Nico. Uh-huh. Oh, did you? <gasps> Nico! Good night, my best panda pal. Good night, best puggy pal. Oh, yeah. And potato pal, too. Night, night, potato. <laughs> Do you think Grandma will be here soon, Amanda? Yes. I'm sure she's just running a little late, Chip. Bodie, Nico, and I will stay with you till she gets here. Ooh. <laughs> Good idea, Potato. I can practice my magic trick while we wait. <laughs> I, the great Chip-a-Doodle, will perform the magic rope trick. <laughs> First, I wrap the magic rope around my fingers. And I pull one end through the middle, and um, now I will make the knot disappear. Abra pug Abra. <sighs> oh, so I'm sure you'll get it right next time, Chip. Won't she, Potato? <coughs> You're right. I just need to check the instructions again when I get home. <coughs> Grandma's here. I love it when she picks me up in the puggy buggy. I always get to sit up front. Hiding in my pocket, secret potato pal. Happy bye. Thanks for waving with me. Okay. Happy bye, Chip. Bye, Chip. Uh, oh, hello, chip doodle Huh? Who's that sitting up front in my seat? Oh. Say hi to Glenda, Gordy's granddaughter. Hi. Hi, Chip. Gordy and I thought it would be lovely for you two pups to meet. And I love sitting up front in the Puggy Buggy. It's oh. Fabby Wacky Duda. There's no room for me, Grandma. How will I get home? You're about to find out, Chippa Doodle. Would you like a ride home with me on my Electro Puggy Scoot Chip? You can sit in the sidecar. Yes, please, Gordy. <laughs> I can't wait to tell Mama and Papa about this ride home. It's fun! Mama! Papa! Hi, Chippy Dip! <laughs> Guess what? I wanted... Hello, hello! You must be Glenda. Puggy, nice to meet you. Puggy, nice to meet you, too. Did you see? I rode a front in the Puggy Buggy. It was Fabby Wacky Duda. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, everyone. Oh, Potato, I really wanted to tell Mama and Papa about my amazing Electro Puggy Scoot ride, but Glenda got there first. Oh, are you all set to perform your special magic trick after dinner, Chippy Doo? Nearly. I just need to go up to my room to check the instructions. Hey, Chippy Doo, how about taking Glenda with you? I'm sure she'd love to see your room. Huh? That would be Fabby Waggy Duda. Thanks, Chip. Let me guess where your room is. Oh, it must be down there. I don't want Glenda to find out how I do my magic trick, Potato. It's supposed to be a secret, like you. Oh. Better hurry up. Is this your room, Chip? Uh-huh. I love it! What's that? Is it a snuggly? I have a llama snuggly. This is my potato. I keep her in my pocket. See? Aw, cute! Oh, my spots. You've got a box of magic tricks. Grandma and Gordy gave it to me for my fifth birthday. Gordy gave me the same box of tricks for my fifth birthday. I'm six now. <gasps> it's got the same magic tricks inside. I love this trick. I, Glenda the Magnificent, will make this coin disappear. <gasps> wow, Glenda. Can you do all the tricks? Oh, yes. Can you? Um, 
Not yet. But I'm going to perform the magic rope trick for everyone after dinner. Oh, that's a hard one. It took me forever to get it right. I just need to check the instructions one last time. I wrap the magic rope around my fingers, then I pull one end through, and then... Oh, I make a loop. Got it. Now I, the great chip doodle will perform the magic rope trick. I wrap the magic rope around my fingers, then I pull one end through the middle, and... abra pug -dabra! Oh, I wanted to show everyone my magic rope trick after dinner, but I just can't get it right. I've had the most fabby waggy doo idea! I'll perform a magic trick after dinner instead, so no one will be disappointed. But, but... Paw wash time! Pumpkin spaghetti is ready! Come on, Chip! Bring the cape and hat with you! I was so excited about showing everyone my magic rope trick, but now Glenn is going to do her trick instead. She does everything first. Aww. See ya! Welcome home, Spud! Hi, Mama! Puggy perfect timing! Better wash those muddy soccer paws we're about to eat. Okay. And after dinner, you're performing your magic trick. Right, Chipolata? No, I'm not doing my trick after all. But Spud! Hi, oh. Grandma. Spud? Meet Glenda, Gordy's granddaughter. Hi, Spud. Nice soccer shirt. I play soccer, too. You do? I'm a striker. What position do you play? Same. <laughs> Glenda told us you're not going to perform your magic trick after all, Chip. I'm not ready, Mama. I can't get it right. I'm sure you'll get the trick right soon, Chip. We didn't want you all to be disappointed, so I'm going to do a magic trick instead. Oh, that's kind of you, Glenda. Ah, pumpkin spaghetti is served. Fantastic! <laughs> Phew. Now I, Glenda the Magnificent, will perform the magic cups trick. Oh, I'm so excited! Glenda's going to do the special trick that Gordy did at Grandma's birthday party. First, I need something small to disappear. You could use Chip's potato snuggly. Oh, yes! Chip's fabby waggy snuggly. Oh, it's okay, Chip. Remember, I used your snuggly when I performed this trick, and your potato was fine. <laughs> Thanks, Chip. I put the snuggly under the red cup, then I mix the cup. Now, guess which cup the snuggly is under? The it's red, under the red cup. One. Wrong. See? <gasps> no potato. Oh, amazing. Abra pug dabra. Chip's potato snuggly is here. Oh, it must be under this one. <gasps> My trick has gone wrong. I don't know where Chip Snuggly is. <laughs> don't worry, pups. We'll find it. Sure. Uh, she, uh, she, oh, she's up for sure. Mm, uh. Not here. What about this? There you are. I'm so glad you're safe, Potato. Better hoodie up before someone sees you as a mouse. <laughs> Look, everyone. Abra Pug Dabra. Here is Potato. Oh, <laughs> you found it! I did a great job disappearing the Snuggly, and Chip, you did a great job reappearing it. How did you do it? Um... Oh, a good magician never reveals their secrets, Glenda. <laughs> that was amazing, Chip Squeak. Now you have to show us the trick you've been practicing. <laughs> okay. I, the great chip doodle will perform the magic rope trick. Oh, 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 wow. Wow. First, I wrap the magic rope around my fingers, then I pull one end through the middle, and, um, oh no, I can't remember what to do next. Ooh, I can go. Oh, I make a loop. Thanks, Potato. Now I make a loop, and the knot will disappear. Abra Pug Jabra! I did it! Even if I needed a little help from you, my potato pal. That was Pugtastic Magic Fun Chip. Or should I say, the great Chip a Doodle? Oh. <laughs> oh, we loved it, Chip. Oh, uh, but I'm afraid we need to drop Glenda home now. Are you going to sit up front in the Puggy Buggy with me, Glenda? Actually, 
I'd like to ride with Grandpa in the Electro Puggy Scoot. Really? You never wanted to before. I was scared. But I saw how much fun Chip had riding in the sidecar, and now I want to try it too. <laughs> Maybe Glenda hasn't done everything first after all. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye. Hi, Roy. Hi, Ray. Us Razzles are having a teddy bear's picnic the day after tomorrow, under the apple tree. It's a chance for the littlest members of Welcome Walk to get together and play. We'd love for Tot to come. In fact, all of you. Ah, that sounds pugtastic. <laughs> a teddy bear's picnic? I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs>